Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a quick comparison between the Spigen ThinFit P versus the VRS TerraGuard S. So today my goal is to go through some of the design approach and some of the pros and cons between these two cases and then decide on which case I would use as my daily driver. And hopefully you'll find this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and share this video so more people can see this and hopefully they'll find it just as helpful as you did as well. We're going to go ahead and start off with the Spigen ThinFit P. Now the Spigen ThinFit P immediately compared to the VRS is the weight difference. There is a huge weight difference. This is fairly light and this is definitely a much heftier case. The top plate you see that it is basically a very simple frame. It is soft rubber uh, where it actually holds the S Pen. It's, it seems like it has a pretty good shock absorption ability. And the main difference between the TerraGuard S versus the ThinFit P is that the ThinFit P actually holds the S Pen on the outside. There's not much protection to it versus the TerraGuard S actually holds the S Pen on the hinge within a secret compartment on the hinge itself. And so, the other big difference between the two cases is that the TerraGuard S has a hinge protection versus the ThinFit P does not. That would warrant the difference in weight is the amount of protection that you get on the hinge versus virtually none on the Spigen ThinFit P. Just comparing the top plate itself is slightly different, right? ThinFit P actually holds the S Pen versus the VRS does not. One thing I do like about the VRS case is this receded bezel right here. It really helps if you're just feeling around your phone for the volume rocker, you can easily navigate because the bezel right here and it helps you guide your finger into the right position. So I do like that about this case right here. On the top plate for the Spigen Thin Fit P, unfortunately, if the S Pen is in place, it will obstruct the buttons. Um, so it makes it harder to even navigate to the fingerprint sensor and the volume rocker with a S Pen in it. Moving on to the bottom plate. The bottom plate for the Spigen is fairly simple. Seems like a, a bit of a like ABS hard plastic with a nice rubbery finish. Ignore this kickstand, I just added this kickstand afterwards. It's okay. It's not something that I would recommend buying. Um, so that's why you have not heard about this on my channel. I just added it on, I didn't want to take it off. Oh, by the way, one huge difference between the installation of the ThinFit P versus the VRS is that the ThinFit P already has adhesive pre-installed for you on all the corners. And so you don't have to you know, stick it on yourself. And it does come with additional double-sided tape in case you take off the case quite often like I do. The VRS, on the other hand, does not come pre-installed with any of the adhesive. I actually never used the adhesive with the VRS case and I actually didn't feel like I need it. I think it's because of the way it wraps around the phone plus it has the hinge protection. It really cocoons the phone in the case itself so it's not really allowing the phone to shift around. So in fact I don't think at least on the back plate you will need the adhesive. On the top plate though, I think you might need some uh, around these areas just because it does slide around a little bit. It does push it out sometimes if you're unfolding the phone. And so maybe only on the top plate, I would recommend uh, maybe doing a strip right here uh, on the top plate. On the Spigen case, like I said, it did come with pre-installed adhesive. Unfortunately, this piece of the adhesive is very strong and it just so happened covers this right here and I was told that this is like the 5G wideband antenna cover it's just a plastic piece but because of that adhesive it actually ripped this piece of the plastic out and I had to just you know stick it back on and you can tell there's like a little color delamination on, on the paint because of that and so speaking, I'm not very happy with this. I think that is something that you guys need to fix on your case so that you're not placing the adhesive right here, uh, causing damages when you're removing the case. I bet a lot of people don't know about this. And so this is something I wanna bring to your attention. Whenever you are installing the speaking case, either you make this less sticky or you just don't peel the protector off 
so that this is not sticky at all and just use the ones that is on here and here to keep your case in place back onto the vrs i think the vrs backplate it feels very slippery and it actually has dual layer designs the hard shell on the outside and the shock absorption rubber layer on the inside which i think is great design in the sense that like it would offer a lot of shock absorption if you do drop your phone however the texture of the outer shell is extremely slippery many times i was holding the phone upside down watching videos and i almost dropped this thing on my face overall this is much heavier of a case and it's so chunky in the hand it just feels like i'm holding a little dictionary the phone's already heavy enough maybe i don't want extra weight to it and my other complaint about the vrs design is the smoothness of this slider and it like it's really rough you want to take the S Pen out, you pretty much have to use two hands to do, take this out, close it, and then use the S Pen, right? Versus on the Spigen, it's fast. You just literally, you just pop it out like this, right? You hold on to the phone, you just pop it out. You don't need two hands to take the S Pen out. The Spigen is a lot more convenient, and it just seems like it's a much lighter case. It's easier to hold. Although you do miss the hinge protection. I think the hinge protection with the magnet is an awesome idea. When it comes to execution, I think VRS should have done more testing with S Pen because with the magnet, I seem to be experiencing dead spots. According to some of my subscribers and viewers, it's hit or miss. 50% of my subscribers saying that yes, there is, there's a dead spot and 50% of them saying no, there's no dead spot. So it's interesting that it varies between people. However, I did find that in order for you to overcome the dead spot, instead of using a pen at a diagonal you know, angle, if you are more upright and add a little bit extra pressure, uh, it helps bypass some of the dead spots. So that's something that I found as part of my user experience. Hopefully it works for you. In conclusion, which case am I using right now? I'm actually using the Spigen ThinFit P. I am willing to sacrifice the hinge protection for the weight savings and also the fact that it will still hold the S Pen. I do wish Spigen, you can come up with a case similar to this that actually has hinge protection. I don't need a lot, just a little bit to cover it up. The VRS, I will probably keep using it if I'm going somewhere that needs a lot of rugged protection. But for now, Spigen is staying on my phone. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate if you guys give me a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe for future videos similar to this. Take care, have a good one, bye.